The political landscape in Zimbabwe is once again abuzz with speculation and intrigue as the succession race within the ruling ZANU-PF party heats up. While President Emerson Umingagwa has declared his intention to retire at the end of his second term in 2028, whispers of a predetermined power handover to his deputy, Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, continue to circulate, casting a long shadow over the party's future, the Standard has reported. The air is thick with tension, a palpable reminder of the tumultuous events of 2017, when the military intervened to remove Robert Mugabe from power. This intervention, while initially seen as a necessary step to restore the party's legacy, has now become a focal point of contention as ZANU-PF navigates its future leadership. The whispers of a prearranged succession plan, with Chiwenga poised to inherit the presidency, have ignited a firestorm of debate within the party. These rumors, fueled by persistent reports of a secret agreement between Umingagwa and Chiwenga, allegedly struck in the aftermath of the 2017 coup, have left many questioning the party's commitment to democratic principles. However, ZANU-PF spokesperson Chris Mutsvangwa has categorically dismissed these rumors, asserting that the party will adhere to its democratic principles and choose its next leader through a transparent process. Everyone who goes into politics and has an ambition to be a leader must play by the rules, especially of a revolutionary democratic party. Mutz Vangwa declared in an exclusive interview with The Standard on Friday. Mutz Vangwa's pronouncements, however, have done little to quell the growing unease within the party. The alleged pact, according to these reports, promised Chiwenga the presidency after Omingagwa served one term. A scenario that has raised concerns about the potential for a power grab rather than a democratic transition. ZANU-PF is not a church where people can be anointed, Mutz Fang was stated emphatically, drawing a stark comparison between the party and religious institutions. Don't try to foist the president upon yourselves. The president is not the Pope of the Catholic Church or the Archbishop of Canterbury, who anoints priests. He further emphasized the party's commitment to democratic principles, stating that any aspiring presidential candidate must earn their position through campaigning and winning the support of the electorate. President Umingagwa is an elected leader of a revolutionary democratic party. There is no godly anointment in ZANU-PF, Mutsvangwa asserted. This assertion, however, rings hollow in the ears of many ZANU-PF members who recall the events of 2017 and the role played by the military in removing Mugabe. The intervention, while initially praised by some for restoring the party's legacy, has now become a source of deep mistrust and suspicion. The whispers of a secret deal and the calls for Umingagwa's extended tenure have further fueled the perception that the party is more interested in maintaining its grip on power than in upholding democratic principles. The calls for Umingagwa's extended tenure originating from provincial structures in Midlands and Masvingo, have added another layer of complexity to the already delicate situation. While Mutsvangwa acknowledged the popular support for Umingagwa, attributing the calls for his extended tenure to his successful vision for the country, he stressed the importance of upholding the constitution and respecting the democratic process. People are going to vote for their leaders from the grassroots level, he said. The president is a constitutionalist. He is a lawyer and respects the Constitution. They may desire him, but he is a constitutionalist, like he said. However, the calls for Umingagwa's extended tenure have been met with resistance from other factions within the party, who see it as an attempt to circumvent the democratic process and maintain the status quo. The party's internal divisions are a reminder of the deep-seated power struggles that have plagued ZANU-PF for decades. The succession battle is not simply a matter of choosing a new leader. It is a battle for the soul of the party and the future of Zimbabwe. The simmering tension within ZANU-PF stems from the events of 2017, when the military intervened to remove Mugabe from power, citing his alleged attempts to sideline war veterans from the succession race and favor a faction linked to his wife. This intervention, while initially seen as a necessary step to restore the party's legacy, has now become a focal point of contention as the party navigates its future leadership. Mutsvangwa's strong stance against any predetermined succession plan, 
coupled with his veiled threats to expose those who participated in the 2017 coup, has sent a clear message that the party is headed towards a power struggle showdown. However, the whispers of a secret deal and the calls for Omingagwa's extended tenure suggest that the path to a smooth transition of power may be fraught with challenges.